and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just be notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have such an exciting one and strap yourself in for a lot of quoting in this video <laughs> but I'm going to be doing part one of two reviews on the brand new revolution and finding nemo collection oh my goodness this is one of my favorite collabs they've ever done i absolutely love finding nemo and you'll realize that throughout this entire video where i'm just quoting a load of stuff um finding nemo is my childhood i grew up watching that film i played it on the ps2 I'm just obsessed with Finding Nemo. I love Finding Dory as well. And the fact that one of my favorite makeup brands collaborate them is super exciting. Now I did use a lot of the products in today's video, meaning my second review should be a lot shorter than this one. But I basically picked up the majority of the collection. I've got like all four of the eyeshadow palettes. I've got the sponge set, brush set, gloss, um, face duo, liquid blushes, lip oils. Is that it? Brushes? Um, I can't think of anything else, but I literally picked up everything barring the blemish stickers and the bag. So yeah, I just couldn't help myself when this launched. I was literally just like, add a bag, add a bag, add a bag, add a bag, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm really excited about this collab. I've got two different eye looks going on because there are four palettes in this collection. So what I've done is I've done the two bigger palettes in today's video, one on one eye, one on the other. And then in my second review, I'm going to be using the two smaller palettes again, one on one eye, one on the other, just so you can get a feel for the palettes individually rather than me trying to use it all together. So yeah, if you want to see all the products in action and most importantly, see what I think of them, then please keep watching. Okay, firstly, we're going to be trying out the liquid blusher. There are two shades. We have a Nemo blush and also a Dory. I'm going to be trying the Dory one in today's video and I'll try the Nemo in my next review this is what the packaging looks like i absolutely love the packaging for everything it's so nostalgic so so cute i love it these blushes retail for four pounds and 99 and this is what the packaging looks like it looks like their standard like super dewy blushes packaging i heart revolution also have packaging like this um it's not my favorite type of liquid blush packaging i do prefer the doe foots but i'm really excited to try these I think they have a slight sweet scent to them. They smell really, really nice. These are the swatches for both of them. If I'm honest, I actually love the pair of them. I think they're absolutely stunning. This is the Dory and this is the Nemo. So I'm gonna go in with this shade today. To blend out the blush, I'm gonna be using one of the sponges. Now I did not remember to wet one of these before I come down here. So in my next review, I will wet the other sponge that I don't use just for a size comparison. So this is what the box looks like, super cute. We have again, one for Nemo and one for Dory. This sponge set is really affordable. It retails for £5.99. And these are what the two sponges look like. Now I'm not gonna lie, they feel really dense which I'm really upset about because they've brought out really nice soft sponges before, but I don't know, hopefully it will feel different when it's wet, which I'll find out my next video, but just dry, they feel really, really dense. And I wanted them to be really soft. I don't know how pigmented these are gonna be, so I'm just gonna put a small amount on like that. And we're gonna do one side at a time as well. And I'm gonna take the bottom of the sponge Okay, so that blended out quite instantly. So, oh my God, I think I put a bit too much on now, but it's fine. Oh wait, maybe because the sponge is dry, it will soak up a lot of it. So <laughs> let's see. That's a really pretty everyday shade. Probably because I'm using the sponge, it's soaking up a lot of the product. I imagine if I use a brush, it'll be a lot more pigmented, but if you use a sponge, these have the ability to blend out really, really nicely. And I mean, this is a dry sponge and it's still blending out really nice, which is a good sign. Okay, so that is the blush all blended out. It is super, super pretty. I love the coral tone of it. 
and it looks nice on fair skin. I'm not loving this sponge at the minute, I'm not gonna lie, just because of how dense it is, but hopefully when I wet it for the next video, it will perform a little bit better because I honestly feel like it soaked up like half of the product. I literally put so much on, but that's my fault for not wetting it beforehand. But just first impressions, they are very dense. If my nose is a bit crusty, you're just gonna have to ignore that because my nose has been so dry where I've been blowing it so much this week. So that's fun. I've just powdered my face with the Huda Beauty powder. And now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. And I also wanna pop on one of these lip oils. So this is the Dory Lip Oil Set. It's so freaking cute and little, look at that. This costs £5.99 and you get two lip oils. Okay, so these are what the lip oils look like. They're super cute. They're quite small um, with a blue metallic lid. You get four mil in each. Um, I don't think these have a scent. I did try smelling them earlier and there's literally like no scent to them, which I am gutted at because I love it when lip oils have scents. Yeah, no scent. And this is what the doe foot looks like. It's not a super big doe foot. It's a really long, skinny one. I'm going to go for this slightly pink tinted one. And I'm just going to use this to rehydrate my lips. Uh, what side do I use that side? Oh my god, it's actually tiggling my lips, this one. That feels really nice and lightweight, really hydrating, just like a standard lip bill. I am just slightly gutted that it doesn't have a scent. Let's move on to the bronze and highlighter duo. So I got the lighter one, which is called Wake Up. And there also is a deeper one, which is called Frish. Frish, fish are friends. So if you do have a deep skin tone, there is one for you. Um, yeah, these are five pounds ninety nine. They love a good five pound ninety nine. Love the packaging, so so cute. I'm going to be gutted to throw all this packaging away. Luckily, the packaging is the exact same on the duo, and this is what the wake up duo looks like. You have a bronzer and a highlighter. The bronzer is called. All aboard, I should have read that the other way around. The highlighter is called Fish School and the bronzer is called All Aboard. What I will say about this is now that I'm looking at it in person, I feel like the bronzer is quite orangey and maybe a bit more for medium skin tones. And then this highlighter is super icy. Obviously, I've not tried it, so I don't know what it's going to look like on the skin, but maybe they should have done a light, medium, dark. I, I just don't ever think two duos or face quads work. There's definitely flaws with both one, one doesn't have something, one has too much of something. It's, it never is done right when there's only two. There definitely needs three because I feel like this bronzer needs to be much fairer to go with this highlight. But I mean, let's see what the pigmentation's like. There's also a little mirror in here. Taking a little bit of All Aboard, I'm okay, a little bit scared at how pigmented this is gonna be but hopefully can make it work. I mean, yeah, straight away I can tell it's a very pigmented bronzer. She's a bronzed orangey goddess today because, well, yeah, that bronzer is so pigmented, which is such a shame, really, because if it was, like, a nice buildable one, I, I would have got away with it, but it just is so deep and orangey like i've had to pat off so much on my arm in the process <laughs> i am gutted because i love finding nemo and i would have loved to have used this on the regular but it's just going to be a product that i'm going to have to be so so careful with so let's try the highlighter as a contrast because this is really bright and icy but it might have a little bit of like a golden undertone i don't know let's see i'm not going to put any blush on because honestly i don't need any more color on my cheeks let's see Oh, see, they don't, they don't ever let me down with a highlighter. Like, they just know how to kill it every time. Fish are friends, not food. If there are any Australians watching this, I'm very sorry for butchering your accent. Highlighter, a little bit powdery in the pan, but the formula on the skin is absolutely beautiful. I'm gutted. If this bronzer was fairer, I would literally use this all the time. I mean, I probably will use it all the time still anyway, but just the fact that I have to be so careful with the bronzer is very annoying. Bronzer definitely more catered towards a medium skin tone. Highlighter, however, is catered to a pal. So this is why I say always do three 
duos, quads, just so you know you have enough variety for as many skin tones as possible. I'm just going to pop on some of the iHeart Revolution and Primark Watermelon Glowy Fixing Spray. Next we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Now they brought out four palettes for this launch. It'd be impossible for me to use four palettes in one video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two in one video, two in the other. Do one on one eye and one on the other just to keep everything separate. Because um, if you've only bought one of them or a couple of them, you can see looks you can do with each individual palette instead of me like kind of mixing it all together. Today I'm going to be trying out the two Bigger eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to save the two smaller ones for tomorrow's video. I will quickly show you what they look like. So I don't think they have the names on the palette, which um, makes me a bit sad. But this is the Finn Noggin Dude eyeshadow palette. Give me some Finn Noggin Dude. Had to be done. Anyway, this is what that palette looks like with obviously the turtle on the front. And this one is slightly more on the neutral side, but it does have a pop of mint. Now this is the mine eyeshadow palette. <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. With obviously with the little seagulls. This one is obviously on the more colorful uh, colorway and there are mirrors in both these palettes as well. So I will be testing these out in my next video. So I'm going to pop those down. The smaller palettes are £6.99 and these bigger ones are £11.99. So this is just the Finding Nemo eyeshadow palette with a picture of um, Shell, Shellman, what? Marlin and Dory when they go through the little jellyfish trowel i'm loving the fact that the picture on the box is on the palette so i don't feel too bad throwing the packaging away this is what this palette looks like again quite colorful and there is a very big mirror in here i feel like we I mean, before I even show you this, I feel like they're lacking a neutral palette in this collection. I know, obviously, Finding Nemo is really bright and colourful. It's a kid's film, loads of different kind of fish and everything. But I just feel like we should have catered something towards the just neutral eyeshadow palette lovers. I know this has neutrals in it, but I feel like they needed a dedicated neutral eyeshadow palette. And then this is the P. Sherman eyeshadow palette. I... I'm just so obsessed with this. Just look at this packaging. I love it so much. It is so cool. And this is what the colour story looks like. And it obviously has the P Sherman 42 Wallaby Way Sydney address on it, which is amazing. And this one is a little bit more muted out of the bunch. But I still feel like we could have done with a proper neutral eyeshadow palette. So those are what the eyeshadow palettes look like. Let's go on into the eyelid. Can you see how beautiful that highlighter looks up close? It's absolutely amazing. You're definitely going to see my crusty nostril now that you're zoomed in. I do apologise. But to prime my eyes, which I shouldn't have primed both of them, but I did anyway. Uh, I used the Relove Eye Primer because it's very, very affordable. And I've got to show you this. The eye brushes. How freaking cute are these i had to get them i think these were like nine pound 99 they weren't too expensive yeah a tenner for four eyeshadow brushes oh my lord that is massive look at the size of that i could have used that for my highlighter no that's not an eyeshadow but please just look at the size of that compared to my eye oh revolution man that is not an eyeshadow brush it definitely says eye brush set. I'm so confused. Look at the size of that fourth one, like, <laughs> compared to the other ones. you got to be joking. Now, I must admit, barring this, which in tomorrow's video, I might just use that as a highlight brush because there's no way that's an eyeshadow brush. I actually love the three brushes they've got here. They've got a packing brush, an angled brush, and also a fluffy blending brush, which I will definitely get my use out of them i'll use these to do my first look then i'll clean them tonight and then use them to do another look tomorrow what i'm going to do is i'm going to firstly use the p sherman eyeshadow palette on this eye now when i look at this eyeshadow palette it's pretty at first but there is actually only five mattes in here with when there's 16 shades so there's like 11 shimmers there are a couple of shades in here that look like mattes with shimmer in them but I would have preferred a few more mattes, obviously. 
I think I'm firstly going to take a wallaby away, which is this brown neutral here. And I'm just going to start by popping this in the crease. It's got a cute little starfish print on them. And then I'm just going to pack that in my crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of Fish Our Friends, which is this pinky shade here. And I'm going to take this on the angled brush. And I think I'm just going to pop that on top of that crease shade just to make this a little bit more on the pinky side so I can use like the red. And then to blend this out, I'm going to use the S shade which is this one here honestly i've just got so much nostalgia with this i'm freaking loving it uh, i'm taking this on the big fluffy brush and i'm just gonna start buffing out that pinky shade the shades are quite powdery but they are building really nicely on the lid they look nice and smooth next I want to take keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming swimming swim <laughs> oh dear me I'm having the time of my life by the way guys just to let you know I'm gonna take that on the angle brush that I did have the pink on and I'm just gonna add that to the outer corner it's just brightening it and adding a little bit more Pigment to the outer corner. Okay, what are the shimmers going to be like in this palette? So, if I'm honest, it doesn't have like a great selection of shimmers. I don't think any of these really excite me. There is a I Speak Wow colour, which I'm going to save for the inner corner and brow bone. But apart from that, like the other shimmers don't really look that exciting. There's a couple of greens in here which would look beautiful with this moss green sort of shade. These are four shimmers in the palette that I think would look nicely with the look. I think maybe this really nice orange, which is called Lucky Finn. Then I'm going to take EAC, which is this shimmer here on the other side of the brush, just to blend it a little bit more into the pinks and reds. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, the shimmer or shimmers are definitely more of that like glowy texture, not like super pigmented glittery shimmeriness you know then i'm gonna take wallaby away again which is the first neutral we used and i'm just gonna pop that on my lower lash line then for my inner corner and brow bone i'm gonna use the i speak wow shade do you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab some of that i speak wow shade and just pop it on top as well just to add a bit more brightness to the look okay so this is my look with the p sherman eyeshadow palette and now let's move on to the finding nemo one this one that we're using is a lot more bright and colorful um, I love that there's a bright inner corner which is pretty cool now do we go full like ocean like blue green vibes i think firstly i'm going to take the shade big blue which is this one here then next we're going to take auntie deb which is the lighter blue and i'm just gonna put that across my lid just doing want to do a bit of a contrast between the two palettes Next, I'm going to take Contaminated, which actually has the imprint Fish Our Friends in there, which is very cool. Fish Our Friends, not void. And I'm just going to buff this at the top of the green, not the green, the blue. And then I'm going to take the yellow, which is called Bubbles. Bubbles. My bubbles. <laughs> I'm just going to take this on a little fluffy brush just to buff out the very top edge 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go back through and buff all of these shades together. I had to stop recording for a second while I was uh, deleting some clips, but uh, I have gone again back in with the yellow to blend all that out. And then this is the final blend. Very impressive, it goes really nicely together. With this palette, I think I'm gonna take the shade Mine, which is this really beautiful like mint green color. And I'm just gonna pop that in the middle of my lid. Oh my god, that is so stunning. That is so much different to the shimmers in the other palette. I really enjoy that. The colour is also super beautiful and it just goes perfectly with this look. Like, I'm absolutely buzzing with this eye. I think for my lower lash shine, I'm going to go in with the shade Shark Bait. Shark Bait! Hoo ha ha! Sorry, I just can't, I can't help myself, okay? It just, it just rolls off the tongue. I love it. And then for my inner corner and brow bone on this side, I'm going to go in with this shade, which is called Gill. I think this has maybe a green reflect. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, it looks like it has like a bluey green reflect, which to be honest, I'm not actually mad at because it goes with this look. Okay, so this is the look with the Finding Nemo eyeshadow palette. I'm now just going to hop off of camera. I'm going to pop some mascara on. I'm also going to put some lip liner on because the only product we've got left to test is this clear lip gloss. And then I'll be giving you my final thoughts at the end. Okay, so I'm back. I put my mascara on. I just used my Kylie Cosmetics Kai Lash Mascara. And for my lip liner, I just put on P. Louise achievement it's just like a brown crayon lip liner i basically just end up filling in my entire lips because it is a clear lip gloss so we need a little bit of color so this is what the packaging looks like for the gloss of course i probably would have preferred something with a bit more well just any pigment really <laughs> um but it's fine clear lip gloss oh has a bit of a fizzy scent it doesn't say that it's a plumping gloss Let's see what it's like when it's on my lips. This is what the lip gloss looks like. Really nice and glossy. I honestly feel like there are the tiniest bit of plumping properties in this because I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but it feels like my lips are slightly tingling. So if you don't like plumping lip glosses at all, maybe don't get this because it, it definitely is is tingling a little bit. I don't know if it's going to get worse and worse, but we shall see. If you don't mind a little bit of plumping, then this might be a nice one. Or if you like extreme plumping, this is probably not going to be enough for you. But as for the look and the comfortability of it, it's a really nice gloss. Not sticky, really comfortable, hydrating, and super high shine. So this is a really nice gloss. Let me just have a wee look at how much that costs. That costs £4.99. Okay, and that is all the products I tested out for today's video. These are my completed looks. Definitely let me know, do you prefer the more pinky wearable side or do you prefer the more ocean colourful sort of side. I'd love to know in the comments. I just want to round up my thoughts on the collection. Firstly, this collection is so exciting. I love Finding Nemo, as you could probably tell throughout this video, I'm quoting it quite a lot. Um, and I literally died when I saw this. So for that, I am extremely excited about this collection and I do love the collection as a whole. If I was to quickly review every product individually, I'd say the sponges are too dense. Liquid blushes are really nice and pigmented. I can't wait to try them with a wet sponge and also a brush just to see if there's any difference in the pigmentation. I also love the colours of both the liquid blushes. The lip oil was really nice. It stayed on my lips the entire video. So for that, I really rate that. I love a lip oil. So I'm excited to add those ones to my collection. The face duo, bronzer, far too deep for a fair skin tone. I have to use a really, really light hand. Highlighter, absolute perfection for a fair skin i love that obviously the small eyeshadow palettes i can't comment on i'll comment on them in my next video the big palettes i think my favorite out of the two is this one just because the mattes are i mean the mattes are pigmented in this one as well but i think the shimmers in general i prefer 
in this palette. I also feel like the colour story in this is set out a lot better. The shimmer to matte ratio is so much better. You get a mirror in here. So as a whole, I think this palette is better. But the aesthetic of this eyeshadow palette I love, obviously, with the goggles and the P. Sherman address. The shades are really nice, but I just think quality-wise, I definitely prefer the bigger eyeshadow palette. Let me know down below what you think of everything. I am desperate to know your opinions on this. And the gloss is really nice. I don't really reach for gloss a lot, but it is super high shine, which I really like. Ah, brushes. I almost missed out one thing. This brush is not an eyeshadow brush. Look at the size of that. I'm definitely going to use this for highlight, I think. I'm going to use this as a face brush, not as an eyeshadow brush. The other brushes, which are actually eyeshadow brushes for me, they worked really well. They feel really nice and soft. I love how pretty they are. So as a whole, really love this collection. I would definitely recommend checking out some of the bits. I will link the whole collection down below and you can use Lucy's discount code to get 20% off. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the collection. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.